What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade here. Um, I do have some stuff I really need to talk about because this is something that Eric's getting out of proportion on. Um, and he's basically spreading lies about what really happened and why me and him no longer work together. And on the contrary of what a lot of you might think. Um, I will be speaking the truth about why me and him don't work together anymore and what initially made everything happen. So I will be inviting those in that he did speak to about all this. And yeah, and I will be showing you guys screenshots of what really went down. And why I initially did what I did. Alright. Let me make sure I got everybody invited here. Alright, yeah, we're good. But uh, if you guys don't know, me and Eric have been working together for many, many years, you know. He was the first artist I've ever worked with. You know, like, we started working together on a daily basis and stuff like that. But here lately, he's just been really not in the right mind frame. And me and him had spoken about doing a song together and I was down for it you know we recorded a couple things and whatnot but here's what initially set everything off was this text right here that I got from because initially I was like because he was asking me like did I get the song done yet meaning the song that me and him were working on and I was like not yet but I will as soon as I can And, you know, everything like that. And this was literally on Monday. So just a couple of days ago, he was like, yo. And then I was like, yo. And he's like, have you ever been able to finish that song? And I was like, not lately, but I will get it done. Don't worry. You know, I mean, I was like, I'm not, hey, you know, I will get this song done. But then he comes back with this text right here, which set everything off. Right there, right below, not yet, but don't worry. That text, right there, at the bottom of the screen, in the gray box. And here's what he said to me. Is there something wrong with the song? Because I can see you posting about doing collabo, and I'm guessing my shit ain't good enough, or... You turned your back on me, too, but I don't know. It's all good. That's what started it all. And what he's referring to is, because I was looking for a few side projects to collaborate with other artists on, you know, just like I always do. I was doing that, you know, weekly to monthly. I was like, hey, you know, anybody down for a collaboration, you know, as a, as a side project. And that's kind of what set it off initially. And then this morning I hop on and seen that he had made a post. And a lot of people disagree with what I did, but there's a reason behind what I did. He sat there and it's because I didn't do the track right away. That he went onto his Facebook. He then proceeded to sit there and say, you know, I need a new DJ. And stuff like that. And it's like, I told him I was going to do the song. But for him to do that, to me, is like a slap in the face. But what he does not realize is the fact that, if you guys don't know, my Blackout album just released last night. So I was promoting that. And I was also working on a major memorial project that I had been trying to finish up for the last few months and stuff for, you know, major underground 
artist, Coda Oda, who was one of my best friends, one of my closest personal friends, who was also a music artist. You know, it was a memorial piece that we had been, you know, in the project workings of for months. We had been working, me and his family had been working on this project to honor him and to memorialize his legacy for several months. And yesterday we finally sat down and recorded this song, Moon Rocks, which shout out to Ivan, Brother Bear, Coda, Michelle, shout out to everybody. I don't know you guys don't know, Brother Bear did throw in some of Coda's lines, so shout out to Coda as well. We miss you, bro. But he sat there and is basically turning his back on me, saying that, you know, by saying that I'm not good enough or saying that, you know, he needs a new DJ, like, that's a slap in the face to me. Like, how are you going to sit there and, you know, Ask somebody if they are, you know, done with the track. And then just because they don't get to it right away, you sit there and say that you need a new DJ. Like, he could have at least come forward to me and said, hey, you know, like, I understand that you're busy. That's not a big deal. You know, you could, you know, like, he could have let me know and said, hey, like, I know you're busy that's fine. I'm not mad at you, you know, and I'll find somebody else to, you know, work on the track. I would have taken less offense to that than for him to sit there and say on his Facebook, I'm public. I need a DJ. I need a recording. Like I've seen the messages and the replies underneath that post. And that's what set me off. It wasn't the initial post. I mean, yeah, the initial post was a little upsetting, but what he said in the comments underneath is what set me off. That's what got me pissed. Was the fact that he had the balls to sit there and do that shit. And reply acting like I'm not going quick enough. Well, I'm sorry I'm out here trying to make money and make a living off of what I do. I'm sorry that I've got a bunch of other projects that I'm really trying to get done. That are super important not only to me but other people that I'm very good friends with that I've known for years. And the sad thing is, he does this with everybody. It's not just me. He does it with different people. Like, I just got done letting this Amber chick know how he really is. Like, he's not in the right state of mind to be doing anything you know, music-wise, like, he's not altogether there. Like, he needs to get his priorities straightened out. And I understand that he doesn't have time to wait around, and I get that. I really do. I understand. But for you to sit there... And say that you need a DJ and then talk ill about me indirectly in the comments is fucked up. Like, I've never once spoken ill about you at all, Eric. Like, I've never once spoken ill about you. Yeah, I may have come at you with some disses, but that's what brothers do. We fought. We fight all the fucking time. But for you to sit there and say that you need a new DJ just because you can't wait around for me to finish up a couple little projects and then get your stuff rolling, like, that, where's that fair? Like, you sit there and you say that you want to work with you, and yet you don't want to sit there and let me do what I got to do first before I get to the stuff that, you know, and not to mention our dog had a very serious injury that we had to take care of. But apparently he doesn't get that. 
Because, you know, wait, it's, it's fucked up. Because, you know, I got a show coming up in two weeks that I got to prepare for. I've, you know, I just released my album Blackout last night. And if you guys haven't heard it yet, and you don't have the money to buy it, go to Spotify, it's on there. But that's why me and him no longer work together, is because he does not have the patience to sit back and say, hey, I understand you're busy. He doesn't get that. It's always on the go with him, on the fly, but he never takes the time to sit down and think, gee, maybe this person's busy. And I'm sorry, but that's why me and him no longer work together. Like, I know it's sad. And the reason why I would speak up is because that clock goes off every hour on the hour, so ignore it. But, you know, that's why me and him no longer work together. It's because he does not have the patience to let people do what they got to do. You know, I sit there and I let him do what he's got to do. Why can't he do the same for me? It's only fair. So I'm sorry, but you guys will not be hearing from hearing about me and Eric working together any longer. I'm sorry. Until he learns to, you know, grow up and be patient about shit, you know, then you will not hear anything from us. And if you guys want to know about the post that I'm talking about, you guys can go to his page. It's on there. And, you know, and if Eric wants to come with me, that's fine. I'm not going to let what he says or does affect me. I mean, it hurt on a personal level what he did. Yeah, I'll admit. But what he did to me as an artist is it hurt way worse than it did on a personal level because for him to do that, that's like a slap to the face and a stab in the back. You sit there and say that you want to work with me or want to do stuff with me, and yet you sat there on your Facebook and post about, oh, I need a DJ. Like, dude, it don't work like that. You can't sit there and say that you need a DJ after sitting there and telling me that you want me to work with you. Like, it don't it don't work like that. Sorry. I'm not on your time schedule. I'm on my clock. I do shit in my own time. Yeah, it might take a while to get done, but it will get done. So, you know, it is what it is. He wants to sit there and run his mouth about me. That's that's fine. He wants to run his mouth, whatever. I am done taking his shit. And, you know, and I'm not the only person he does this to. He does it to a lot of people. He does this, oh, woe is me shit, and gets people on his side and then drops them whenever he feels it's convenient for him. And if he has any hope of getting to where I'm at, he needs to stop that. You know, I got where I'm at through hard work and perseverance. You know, I busted my ass every day to get to where I'm at. I'm that dude that tried really hard. And look where I got. My music's up on Spotify, on, you know, Apple, iTunes, Google Play, everywhere. You know, and I deserve it because I worked hard for it. You know, so if I were you guys, I would not work with him. 
I mean, y'all can be friends or whatever, but if y'all do music, I would not work with him because of how he really is. He pulls this whole woe is me card. And it's stupid. Like, he expects a fucking pity party. And I'm done doing pity parties. You know, I'm done with the negativity. I'm done with, you know, dealing with it. So now you guys know the truth as to why me and him no longer work together. It's because of the fact that he sits there and is just completely negative and it needs to stop. Like, I'm tired of his negativity. And I'm tired of him acting like I'm on his time when I'm not on his time. I don't do shit like that. I don't work. I don't, I'm not a fucking robot. I don't work for people. I work with people. There is a difference. If I work with you and I have other projects that I'm going to get done, I'm going to get those projects done before I get the year stuff. Because he knew I was working on a memorial album with Coda's family. He knew that. But he just didn't have the patience to wait around. So, you know, that's on him. But now you guys know the truth as to why me and him no longer work together. So if you're an artist and you need somebody good to work with, hit me up. Because unlike Eric, I'm not a drama starter. There's no drama in my life 24-7. I mean, yeah, like on the side of, you know, trying to find somebody to be with. Yeah, there's that. But other than that, there's no drama music-wise. Like, I have no beef with anybody. I don't sit there and start shit like Eric does. So if y'all need a good music artist or a good, you know, producer... You know, hit me up and we'll work together and we'll work out some deals and shit. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I got promotions to do. I got a show to get ready for in a couple weeks. So, catch you guys later.